Welcome back to Full On Football. We're in the home stretch now. We've discussed football. We've looked at all the results of all the three men's leagues and looked at the top goal scorers. And, uh, and now we're going to have some community announcements with the help of our guests tonight. And that is Chad Bajaya from White City Woodville and Donald Campbell from Talking Football, 88.7 Coast FM. Chad, um, you were saying how difficult it was for you to watch from the sidelines. Obviously, you're getting back in there. You'd be hoping to finish off the season on a high. Yeah, definitely. I'm... Um uh, quite positive that we're going to make the finals. Everyone at the club is expecting us to make the finals. Uh, we've definitely got the names on paper to make the finals and do well in the finals. So, you know, give us a couple of wins under our belt and come finals time, look out. And of course, a couple of players we didn't mention, Pro Loisidis went back to Pirates, as we saw him on the score sheet there from the game. And uh, uh, Ryan Manilev, you've secured his services as well, and he's been playing quite well, coming on and playing quite well. Yeah, solid player. Uh, didn't really know a lot about him beforehand, but uh, with the trainings we've had with him so far and the games that he's come on and played, uh, very happy. Mm. Um, and, you know, he's, he's proving himself quite quickly to be a first 11 player, which is good. And unfortunately, you know, not only Prokopi has left us. We've lost uh, Serge Semes as well. Oh, have you? He's, uh, he's gone over to uh, Olympic, oh. uh, scored a hat-trick in his first game, so <laughs> good on him. Oh, gee, well, the people are moving around all over the place who don't know who's come and who's gone, but no, it's, it's great competition. Speaking of competition, Donald, you would be interested in this next announcement. We have... Um, uh, a new um, event that's coming up, it's the Slow Down, Slow Down 1. Can we have a look at that? It's the Northern Derby between Parry Hills and Mobbury Jets. And these are, um, well, past players. We've got Joe Mullen, the coach of uh, Parry Hills, and we've got Ross Aloisi, the coach of Mobbury Jets. We've got people like Dwayne Gray playing, Robbie Detroyer, uh, McCormack. We've got, do you know of any others that are playing? This no, one? but I take offence to that, <laughs> Natalie. That? Slow down and you looked at me. <laughs> Thing. Well, I, aren't you going to be the ref? Or? If I went any slower, I'd be running backwards. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm actually, I haven't been asked to referee that at this point in time. Uh -huh. Unofficially, uh, I think somebody's approached, but okay. until they tell me and uh, discuss the big money involved. Uh, yes. But uh, it'll be a good, be a good event up in the northern area. They're excellent, good drinkers. Yeah, oh. They've always got a quiet word to tell me how good or bad it was, nearly always bad. But it will be a great event. Friday well, the 18th of July. Yeah, can we just have that back up on screen if we can? It is Friday the 18th of July. Kickoff is at 8.30, so all trainings and coaches and things like that are all finished. It's at Jet Park. And uh, uh, oh, we can't get it back up. That's okay. Um, and we do ask you to go there. It's a, a gold coin donation. It is going to charity. Um, and they have an under-14s match on at 6.30. So please come along. We want as many people as we can to come along. I'll be filming the game. And I've been told that uh, I'm going to get some special... Um, change room interviews which I'm a bit worried about actually with this mob but uh, no we, and hopefully what when it after the game is uh, played we'll be able to show you highlights of this and you can watch your coaches and ex-players play in the dressing room of the players then Natalie <laughs> no, there'll be, no. be a few gruesome sights there I'll tell you <laughs> so, I said to Dwayne that we will have to definitely film like they did with Elvis from the waist up please oh. so oh, I've, seen, he, I've seen those guys in the show they're not a pretty sight I can <laughs> tell you I'll have to be careful of that one another community announcement is of course the uh, Adelaide Blue Eagles Azuri 50th anniversary dinner which we've been advertising this is 7pm on Friday the 1st of August at the Adelaide Convention Centre Les Murray is the MC and uh, of course Kate Sobrano is the entertainer and she's a great entertainer as well so please contact the Blue Eagles if you don't know their number get onto the website the FFSA website which can take you then to the club information which will take you then to the Adelaide Blue Eagles website so uh, please do that uh, all past players and coaches etc and spectators are welcome to that one um, then of course we've got Speaking, actually, before we do, um, <clears throat> just to, on a note that you uh, mentioned to me also, we had uh, um, the passing of Mick O'Malley, who, of course, is a person who's contributed over, to over 50 years for football as a player, coach, uh, and more so as a referee, and you attended his funeral. Yeah, I was there this afternoon with uh, two or three hundred other people, Natalie. It was, 
if there is such a thing as a great funeral, Mick deserved it because he'd been a great ambassador. He's played for South Australia, he played for Australia, became a FIFA referee, and he was a great uh, father figure to a lot of people, including myself. A great loss to football here in South Australia. Most definitely. He's uh, also a, a life member of the SA Referees Association, and of course, uh, um, he was uh, inducted into the uh, Hall of Fame as a member for distinguished contribution in 2004. So we do uh, pass on our wishes of sympathy to the whole family. Now, if you do want to find out more information, as I said, uh, go on to the FFSA website and you can do so by looking at this link. You go to www.ffsa.com.au and you can find information at club information is very important because you can contact the clubs there. You can look at games, results, tables, fixtures, anything new that's happening and there's quite a bit happening within the world of football uh, locally so we do urge you to go onto that website and uh, look at it. Now if you want to contact us you can do so the following way. A lot of people did this last week with our Keepers show. You can contact us on our email address adamna at optusnet.com.au you can write to us. I do love letters and I do love seeing letters at uh, Full On Football, PO Box 319, Henley Beach uh, 5022, or you can call me on 0421 507 948. And I do ask that, uh, you know, we need sponsorship. This show cannot continue if we don't have sponsorship. And if you want to see it coming back next year, we need to secure sponsorship now. So if you can help us in any way, shape, or form, uh, I would be most welcome to get that assistance. And we do thank all our sponsors that are on the show, as you see each week through our commercials. Um, we thank them because without them, we basically could not do this show. And, of course, we have to thank our guests that have come on tonight. Um, these people helped me to do the show, and we thank them for their time. Uh, Chad from White City, congratulations on getting yourself back into the game. We have missed you terribly. It's great to see you. I know that you're going to improve as each game goes because obviously it's game time that you want. I hope that the club goes very well, is able to make the top five and, and who knows from there. We wish you all the best of luck and thank you for joining us here tonight. Been a pleasure. Anytime. Cheers. Thank you. And Donald, you are a true champion because uh, you know tonight we were meant to have another guest, um, was not able to make it. You stepped in straight away as soon as I asked, and you do that all the time. You are a total supporter. You are full on with full on football. I cannot thank you enough, and I do say thank you very much for coming on again tonight with your words of wisdom. Natalie, for the rates you pay me, it's, <laughs> I'm delighted to be here, and I congratulate you for doing what you're doing for football with, with full on football. You're an absolute fantastic ambassador for the game yourself. You're always quick to throw praise on people like myself or Chad and other guests, but. Uh, you are the man. Oh, I'm the are. man. Oh, fantastic. I love that. Now, yeah. now you're like Margaret. You've grown your own moustache. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't have, I'm not hearing, so don't worry about that. <laughs> I'll let Margaret have that to accolade for herself. But I do thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I do appreciate all the lovely words that you say to me when I'm out there at games, that you do like the show and you appreciate what we're doing, what we're trying to contribute to local South Australian football. Remember, we're doing it for you, players and coaches out there and we totally enjoy doing it. Remember that the show is repeated on Saturday mornings if you can't catch us Friday nights and that's at 11.30 on Saturday mornings. Have fun at your games this weekend. All the best to all the teams. And remember, don't run on empty. Get full on football. Good night. Here we go.